a different class of agents that has recently emerged as one of the most robust therapies against cancers harboring a BRAF mutation are the collectively known BRAF inhibitors. These agents include vemurafenib and dabrafenib. Especially with vemurafenib, about 90% of patients will develop dermatologic adverse events. These include a rash in about 60%, photosensitivity that is very severe in about 50%, as well as hair thinning and a hand-foot skin reaction or a hyperkeratosis of the palms and soles that will occur in about 10 percent. It is important to note that the rash to BRAF inhibitors, especially vemurafenib, is a maculopapular rash in nature, so different from the rash that occurs with EGFR inhibitors. Because it is maculopapular, it is subject to treatment or it will benefit from treatment with topical or oral corticosteroids. And we have also found by interrupting the agent and rechallenging patients, the rash will not reappear or at least will not reappear to an equal or greater severity. So in most cases, it is acceptable to rechallenge patients who develop a maculopapular rash. In addition to this, patients treated with BRAF inhibitors develop a very severe photosensitivity, and this is exclusive to vemurafenib. It does not occur with dabrafenib. This photosensitivity is so severe that even about after about 10 minutes of sun exposure, patients can develop blistering sunburns. So it is important to counsel patients before they start therapy with vemurafenib on sun protective measures. These include the use of a broad spectrum sunscreen containing a UVA and UVB protectant to be applied every two hours or more frequently if patients are swimming or sweating. These sunscreens should contain a sun protection factor of at least 30, and they should uh, be applied at an adequate amount. The reason most sunscreens do not work is because people do not apply enough of them. So at every application for the entire body, patients should apply an amount that is equal to about an ounce or about the size of a golf ball. It is also important to know to tell patients that they should be protected using sun protective clothing if possible or avoid going outside if it is sunny between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. using a broad brimmed hat. Uh, baseball cap is usually not sufficient because it does not protect the ears or the neck or the lower part of the face as well as the chest. So a broad spectrum uh, hat or a broad brim hat is also important and also use sun protective uh, or UVA, UVB protecting sunglasses because the UV radiation can also cause photosensitivity in the, um, in the ocular uh, uh, conjunctiva. It is important to also tell patients to use sunglasses that protect against UVA and UVB as they may also develop photosensitivity in the eyes. With BRAF inhibitors such as vemurafenib and dabrafenib, one can also see that about 10% to 20% of patients will develop a hand-foot skin reaction, which is different from what you may have seen with other agents, including cytotoxic agents or VEGFR, PDGFR inhibitors. This usually consists of a hyperkeratosis or thickening of the skin in the palms and soles. This is usually treated with topical agents, topical exfoliants, such as agents that contain ammonium lactate, salicylic acid, or urea at high concentrations, up to 40%. Patients are to apply these topicals two to three times a day. And this will usually result in the decrease in the thickening and the induration of the palms and soles. Another agent that has received attention recently due to the appearance of dermatologic events in a considerable portion of patients is ipilimumab, the anti-CTLA-4 antibody. With this agent, up to a third of patients will develop a maculopapular rash. Up to 20% of patients will develop significant pruritus or itching. And a subset of patients will develop a vitiligo type depigmentation of the skin. In other words, their skin starts losing its color, likely because their immune system is attacking their pigment forming cells or melanocytes. In most of these cases, therapies with topical or oral corticosteroids will usually be effective to mitigate both the maculopapular rash as well as the pruritus. For the vitiligo, unfortunately, or the depigmentation of the skin, there is no good treatments,
but most patients will not be bothered by this. Although the use of camouflaging or concealing foundations is something that I do recommend for patients that wish to um, cover these areas.